In today's video, we take a look at some bags from Ortlieb. We have the Velocity PS as well as the Commuter Daypack High Visibility. If you're new to the channel, I'm Ed from Rush Faster. We do guides and walkthroughs, bring you better gear and better ways to carry. So if you like what you see, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell for future videos. Let's dive in and check out some bags from Ortlieb. Now, Ortlieb is a carry company based in Germany. They've been around for many, many years. They produce high quality, durable, water resistance, and in most cases, waterproof bags in the outdoor and biking sector. So these are panniers, messenger bags, hiking backpacks, adventure bags, things like that. Today, we're looking at two bags that are specific for the daily urban commuter, and they can be incredibly functional for the cyclist as well. Now, as always, if you're interested in checking out the bags that we take a look at, or even some of the products that we showcase throughout this video, you can check out some of the links in the description below. First up, we're looking at the Velocity PS. Now, the PS actually describes the material set of the bag. Typically, Ortlieb Velocity backpacks are covered in a waterproof tart material, but here we have an 840 denier nylon material that's actually designed by the people over at Ortlieb. It is PVC free and it's called PS533. It has an IP rating of 64, so it's an incredibly water resistant backpack. Now, if you're interested in checking out some of the waterproof material design over at Ortlieb, their in-house design, there will be a link in the description below. But looking at the front face of the bag, we've got a little bit of Ortlieb branding here, just on the front there, that actually has reflective detailing so that you have a bit more visibility at night. We've also got a little Velocity 23 tag there, so this is a 23 litre backpack. The Velocity PS is also available in a 17 litre and also comes in a number of different colorways. So very simple front face. We've also got that roll top closure mechanism. We'll take a look at that when we look inside the bag, but we'll turn to the back now and we have our harness system. Now we've got highly padded air mesh shoulder straps that are curved and tapered. They also have a little bit of reflective detailing on that sternum strap there. We've got these two little loops here that you can attach gear on and then there is the Ortlieb branding there on one of the loops. We've got cushioned piping on the side of those shoulder straps so that you get a little bit of comfort. It doesn't dig into your chest too much when you're carrying heavier loads. And then if we flip these over, you can see the air mesh wicking there on the back there just to provide more breathability and so to prevent you from having a sweaty back and sweaty chest when you're carrying the bag. Further below, as mentioned, there is a sternum strap. This is a simple Duraflex sternum strap. It's got a little bit of elasticity there on the side so it can flex on your chest when you're moving around. And then there is the different points of adjustment there so that you can better position the sternum strap where it is on your body. At the bottom, simple Duraflex ladder locks there. And then if we just flip those shoulder straps behind, we've also got a small little waist strap. This provides stability to your load, it doesn't provide any padding or comfort but it allows the bag to stay on you, especially if you're commuting, if you're cycling, the bag's not gonna shift too much around your body. And then at the ends, we have elastic webbing just to make sure that strap isn't flapping around. Now, if you would like to opt out of this little waist strap, you don't think it's gonna be useful for you and it's actually gonna dangle around too much, you can actually simply remove it by feeding it through this little hardware at the bottom here. You can take that out and you can have a much cleaner, less strappy silhouette on your bag. Now at the back here, we've got comfortable foam padding here. It's a really dense foam, so it'll provide good comfort on your back. It does flex a little bit, just the nature of the bag's design. It does have a little bit of flex in different areas. They've designed a little bit of channeling here so that you can have better airflow, better breathability. Now, one thing you might be asking when you look at the back panel is you might be asking, what's up with all these different screws? Ortlieb have actually designed their bag's materials to last an incredibly long time, and sometimes that's actually longer than the other parts of the bag, like the shoulder straps, some of the hardware. So if for whatever reasons, after 10, 20 years, your shoulder strap starts to wear out, maybe the air mesh starts to rip apart after long use, whatever it is, you can actually unscrew these bits of hardware, take out those different pieces of the bag and replace them with new ones. So even if the roll top closure for some reason breaks, you can actually replace it with a new roll top closure, thus giving your bag a lot more longevity and a longer lifespan. Additionally, with this hardware at the bottom here, this actually enables the bag to stand up on its own, which is a really helpful feature. So not only is this to 
designed to give the bag some longevity by having this hardware mounts and things like that. These little points at the bottom actually allow the bag to stand up on its own. Now it's a bit more tricky when the bag's completely empty, but when it's decently filled, you can actually have this bag standing up on its own. Okay, so back to the front of the bag, looking at this roll top closure, just at the bottom of it, we actually have this lash tab horizontal pig snout, whatever you want to call it, you can attach gear on there, especially a bike light, so that if you are cycling, you can use this part to attach a little bike light. Then we've got this really durable closing snap with the Velcro hook and loop closure. Now, just at one of the ends of the roll top here, we have this little flap here. This actually provides a bit of rigidity to this roll top mechanism so that when you roll it down, it's really easy to roll down. It's not flapping around, but it also guides water away from the inside of the bag so that if for whatever reason, the roll top closure, water seems to get around it, this little flap actually guides water to the sides of the edges, not letting it get inside your bag. Really handy feature. So hopefully you can see on the internal lining here, it's that same fabric, but inside the lining, we actually have that tarpaulin sort of PU coating that protects the bag from the elements. So a lot of water resistance in the inside lining here. Now taking a look inside the bag, it's mainly a big bucket space for you to stash all your gear. So here I have a Patagonia better sweater jacket. I've also got a little anorak from our friends over at Zorali, just for a little bit of rain protection. I've also got an Oliver's field cap, a boundary supply port kit for some of my tech, a Stanley water bottle, and then a hip lock bike lock. So as you can see, one main big bucket space, there is a little organization panel here. So very minimal organization, mind you. There's a little zippered compartment there that gives access to small items that you can organize in there. So I've got an Oz Air face mask. I've also got a Nightcore power bank, orbit key to store my keys, Jaybird wireless earphones, big idea design EDC pen, and a Bellroy flip case as my wallet. So little bit of organization there, but still very minimal. And then we've also got a padded and suspended laptop sleeve there. This laptop sleeve will fit most 15 inches and some 16 inch laptops, uh, depending on which laptop you're carrying, but it is a padded one. It will protect the laptop from any impact drops because it is suspended from the bag. But one thing to notice here is that if you don't have much care for this organization panel, you just want a big stash base and you don't really want this flapping about, you can actually remove it here. There is some Velcro hook and loop that attaches this organization to the back frame. You can just remove that completely and take this all out. And then you have the exposed back frame there. So the bag's already pretty bare bones, but this is extremely bare bones when you take out that divider. Okay, now we're looking at the commuter day pack. Now this is a 21 liter bag. It actually lists it here at the bottom, commuter day pack 21. So you have that little black on black insignia there. We've also got that reflective detailing on the Ortlieb logo, but this particular commuter day pack is the high visibility variant. So it actually has threaded reflectivity inside the fabric of the bag. So these little lines here, that actually provides an enormous amount of reflectivity. You can probably get a sense of it on the camera right now. Now, this material is Ortlieb's PS550CX and PS550X material weaved together. Once again, it is PVC free and has an IP rating of 64. Now, in order to meet that IP rating 64, you actually have to roll it about three to four times. And a note on these bags is that while they're described as waterproof, incredibly water resistant or waterproof, if you submerge these bags into water, that will actually compromise some of the protection. Just keep that in mind. It's not fully submergible, but it is near waterproof, incredibly water resistant. So on the front face of the bag, we've actually got some loops here that you can attach gear on. So we've got those lash tabs there. You can attach gear on there, bike lights, whatever. You can also attach on your bike lock on the side there. So that hip lock that I had, you could probably attach it on the side there just to give you better access to your lock when you want to set off from your bike. This bag also has a durable tarpaulin base, so it will provide a lot of durability at the base of the bag when you're setting it down, things like that. Got our roll top closure mechanism there. We'll take a look at that once we get into the bag. Turning to the back of the bag real quick, we have our harness system, somewhat similar to the Velocity PS, but a little bit stripped back. So we've got curved shoulder straps here, provide an ergonomic fit 
to your body when you're carrying it. On the underside, we don't have any air mesh wicking, so it's nice and lightweight, but it doesn't provide that breathability there. You can see there is a little Ortlieb tab there for some branding, also some reflectivity. And then we've got our sternum strap here, again, a Duraflex sternum strap, this time with some elastic webbing to allow you to keep that strap slack nice and tidy. We've also got adjustment points so that you can properly align the sternum strap. And that also has a little bit of reflectivity in the fabric there. Further below, we've got our Duraflex ladder locks. Again, we've got some elastic webbing to keep it nice and tidy. And then at the bottom here, we have our waist belt. Again, it's not padded, just provides more stability to your load when you're carrying it. And once again, you can actually feed this through and dispense of the waist belt if you choose not to use it. At the back panel, we've got some interesting back padding here. We've got some TPU pads that are actually cushioned. They're designed so that they can actually cushion into your back here. It's a really interesting design. A little bit of ridging here to provide breathability and airflow. Once again, it's a little bit stripped back, so it's not as padded as the Velocity PS, a bit more lightweight. And as you can see, we still have that hardware here so that you can replace certain parts of the harness system if you wanted to. All Ortlieb bags come with a five-year warranty, so you can get those pieces replaced if it comes to any faults or damages, things like that. Even though there is no hardware feet here to allow the bag to stand up on its own, the way that they've designed the tarpaulin base, that rigidity, that structure there actually allows the bag to stand up on its own very easily. Now, as we look at the compartments of the bag now, we actually have a little side zippered compartment here. And this small little compartment actually uses about this much dimension there. You can actually kind of tell through the seaming of the bag. Use that much space so you can store some small items in there, maybe a wallet, maybe some keys. One thing to note is that there are these little ports here on the side, so it's not a fully protected and water resistant compartment there. So just take note of that. You can actually see my hands through those little holes there, but a good spot to store some smaller items. On the front here, we have three different loops that allow you to hook on this little G hook. This serves as the roll top closure. So you have three different points to hook that loop in. That's just varying capacities for your bag. So if you've got not too much in it, you might want to stack it in this little loop. If you've got a lot packed in, you might want to try and opt for this loop. Once again, we've got this little flap here that provides rigidity to your roll top and it also allows for water to be guided through the edges of the bag. As we open the main compartment, it's exactly the same as the Velocity PS. Similar design, big bucket space. You can see that reflective waterproof material on the inner lining there to protect your goods inside the bag. And we've also got that little divider with the small zippered compartment for smaller items. This organization panel, however, can store laptops up to 16 inch and even some 17 inch laptops. So you have a lot more space for laptops and devices in this backpack compared to the Velocity PS. And once again, this organization panel is secured on the bag with a hook and loop closure. So you can remove it completely if you want to. So this is the Velocity PS on the body for your reference. I'm 5'10". And this is the commuter day pack. Well, everyone, there you have it. Two bags from Ortlieb, incredible company, great bags. These two are lightweight, they're functional, and they're near waterproof, really handy for the daily urban commuter. If you're interested in getting either of these bags or anything else that you've seen in this video, there are affiliate links in the description below. If you use those links, they go a long way to support the work that we do here on the channel. So we really appreciate any support there. And if you wanna support us further, you can hit the like button, hit the bell, subscribe to the channel, subscribe to our newsletter. And most of all, let us know your thoughts about these bags in the comments below. If you want to see more videos from us, check out some of the links on the screen at the end of this video. But for now, these have been bags from Ortlieb. Take care. Until next time.